Okay. I need to set up my screen here, get it all situated. Okay. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and if you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. One more time, if you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Oh, Sleepwalker says yes, thank you. So, okay, Lolly, thank you. That means you can see me and hear me. Yes, yeah, so that means everything is A-OK. -okay. Samuel, hello, Ella. All right, well, hello everyone. Welcome. I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! OK, OK, good, good, good. And I can see you in the chat. I see the green team. Yes, the supporters. Tomas is here. Sewu is here. Valenetti is here, great. Sewu is here, Sleepwalker is here. Lolly is here, all right, all right. Who else is here? <laughs> Who else? Well, I'm sure more of our green team will show up. Well, there's Alice. I see Alice, yes. I see Ray Ray, hello Ray Ray. I see Saima, hello Saima. Helga's here, yes. Wang is here, all right, all right, all right. And Tetsuro is here. Hello, Tetsuro. How you doing? All right, all right. Well, um, I hope you are all doing well. I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are happy. I hope you are relaxed. I hope you are ready to practice English with me. Yes? All right, all right. Well, um, what we always do for good luck is have a toast. Yeah, so let's have a toast. So please pick up your beverage, whatever you're drinking for our toast. I'm drinking coffee, so here's my coffee cup. <laughs> well, let's toast to our first toast. We're gonna have two. Our first toast is to the wonderful, the important, the fantastic green team. Yeah, so they support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So we need to give a big thank you to the green team. Green team, cheers, thank you very much. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers, yay! And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Mm. Okay, that tastes good. Now, for our second toast, it's for you, yes. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here, no, no, no. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you. So let's have a toast to you. Let's have a toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. All right, all right, good, good, good. Mm. Ah, all right, well. For today's lesson, it's right here. I have today's lesson plan is right here. Oh, and I want to tell you, today's live stream class is sponsored today by Elsa. Yes, Elsa is a pronunciation and conversation and vocabulary practice app that you can use anytime in any way. And we will um, go over a couple activities in the app a little bit later. Okay, great. Well, for today's topics, for today's activities, we will do the keyword game. Yes, keyword game. That is, you will give me three keywords, I will tell a story for one minute, and then you will ask me questions. Yep. Yeah. Then we will do answer the question. So we'll flip it. So the first activity, you're going to ask me questions, and then the second activity, I'm going to ask you questions. Then after that, we will do dictation cards, right? And then we will do Lolly's Revenge, all right? So we're going to have a fun and interesting time today. So we will be here for two hours, so I hope you are ready. I hope you are 
comfortable. Yes, yes. Ava's here. Hello, Ava. Mwah. Mary Poppins is in the house. Great, great, great. All right. Um, Slevin. <laughs> Slelena. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, I wish I knew how to pronounce your name. Okay, okay. Well, um, let's go ahead and do our first activity, shall we? Okay, so our first activity is the keyword game, okay? The keyword game is our first activity. Keywords game. It's the keywords game. You're going to, I need three keywords, so the, how we're going to do it, three keywords, one minute story, and then question answers. Ah. Okay, so three keywords, one minute story, question answers, okay? So I need some keywords. I need three keywords, please. So in the chat, please write three keywords. Oh, you, so Elsa, it didn't work on your laptop. Hmm, Tomas, maybe try it on your phone. Try it on your phone. We'll do one activity in the Elsa app today, okay? We'll do that together. Okay, Helga, okay, Ava. Um, Sewu, the first time the keyword game. No, it's the third time, Sewu. This is the third time we've done this activity. Okay, okay, I see umbrella. Umbrella. I see, let's see, I saw, did I see river? I saw umbrella. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta go back for a minute. Okay, hold on, hold on. Keyword game. Let's see. Okay, umbrella, river, dream. Okay, okay, let's do dream. Okay, and one more. Let's see. Uh Shovel. Okay, shovel. Wow. Okay. Shovel. Okay. I just randomly took three keywords and not easy ones. <laughs> not easy ones to make a story. No, not at all. So we got umbrella, dream, and shovel. So you know what an umbrella is, right? So I'll just draw a picture. So we have an umbrella, we a dream, let's say like this, okay. So we have a dream, dream and then shovel. How, what store, how am I gonna do this? Okay, and then we have a shovel, all right? So those are our three keywords. I am going, oh, uh, okay, Tomas, okay, Tomas. Um, okay, so we have umbrella, dream, and shovel, our three keywords. I'm going to use these three keywords in a story. I'm going to say this, the story will be for one minute. It's a one-minute story. Let me open my, my phone so I can... Um, so I have the timer here. Okay, see, timer is set for one minute. So we're set for one minute. And so I'm gonna tell a story for one minute using these three keywords, and then you're gonna ask me questions, okay? You're gonna ask me questions about the story, okay? So are you ready? Okay, let me, I gotta think of the story real quick. Uh, okay, umbrella, dream, shovel. Umbrella, dream, shovel. Umbrella, dream, shovel. Okay, it's a story. Okay, somehow I'm going to say the story. Okay, countdown. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. 
I was using a shovel in my backyard and I hit my head on the shovel and I fell asleep. <laughs> I passed out because I hit the shovel, the shovel hit my head and I had a dream. Then I had a dream and the dream was that um, I was using an umbrella and a big, like this, this, this um, burst of wind came up and took me away. I started flying in the air with the umbrella. I was flying with the umbrella and all of a sudden I came down on an island and I knew nobody. Nobody was around. I was on a deserted island with an umbrella and I was thinking, how am I going to get off the island with just an umbrella? So I was really worried. <laughs> okay. That was the story. Okay, please ask me questions. Please ask me questions about that story. Please ask me about the story. Ask me some questions about the story. Okay, Helga, Helga, nice. Where did you use a shovel? I used the shovel in my backyard. In my backyard, I used a shovel. Why did you fall asleep suddenly? Because, okay, good Alice, because the shovel hit my head. I hit my head on the shovel and I fell asleep. <laughs> Sleepwalker says, is your backyard big? Um, not very big. No, it's not very big. Maria, hello Maria. Mwah. Maria asks, what color was the umbrella? Very good. The umbrella was red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. The, the umbrella was red, white, and blue. Good question. Maria. Tetsuro, what color is the umbrella? Red, white, and blue. Mary Poppins, when did it happen? Nice, Mary Poppins. It happened last week. It happened last week. Helga, um, what was the island in your dream? I don't know. It was a small deserted island, meaning only I was there. No one else was there. It was a deserted island. Um, Ava says, how did you sleep? I slept because the shovel hit my head and it, I passed out because the shovel hit my head. It knocked me out. So I, it, the shovel hit my head and then I was out like a light. Um, Tomas says, did you fly like Mary Poppins? Yes, I did. Exactly, Tomas. I flew just like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Lolly says, how did you come back from the desert? I didn't come back. You mean island, deserted island, deserted island, Lolly. Deserted, meaning nobody there. It was deserted, nobody there. Samuel, what were you doing in the backyard? I was, I was shoveling, I was digging a hole because I was making a um, castle. <laughs> I was shoveling a hole because I was making a castle. <laughs> Ava, uh, where, did, where did the umbrella left? Where did umbrella left? I'm not sure, Ava, one more time. I don't understand your question, Ava. Please, one more time. Uh, Sleep Parker, when, when the shovel hit your head? So I was using the shovel and I hit my head because I'm very clumsy. <laughs> so the, I was using the shovel and it hit my head and I passed out and had a dream. Ava, what happened on the island? I was looking for people, Ava. I was looking for people, but I didn't find any people. Rita says, did you go to the hospital? Uh, no, I didn't. I was okay. I just had a bump on my head. I had a bump on my head, but I did not go to the hospital. <laughs> um, what is your dream? My dream was... Alice, that I flew away on an, it, holding, I flew away holding an umbrella and landed 
on a deserted island. That was my dream. Let's see. Um, Helga says, was it easy to fly with an umbrella? Very easy. Surprisingly easy, Helga. It was surprisingly easy. <laughs> Lottie, could you eat some food on the deserted island? Um, I wasn't hungry during my dream. So I was looking for people. I wasn't hungry, so I wasn't looking for food. Maya says, um, what kind of island was there in your dream? Was it covered with palm trees and sand with sandy beaches? Yes, exactly. So the island was deserted, Maya, no people, but there were palm trees and um, sandy beaches. Very beautiful place, but no people. Uh, <laughs> Valenetti, do not forget to take the umbrella. No, don't forget your umbrella. Don't do that. Okay, uh, Rita, did you take medicine? Yeah, I took aspirin because I had a headache after my dream. After I woke up, I had a headache, so I took aspirin. Okay, good. Tomas, could you sit on a cloud for a little bit? Maybe, maybe Tomas. I was flying very slowly. So yeah, because I was flying very slowly, I could sit on a cloud for a moment. <laughs> Good. Um, let's see. Sever says, um, you flew with an umbrella like Mary Poppins? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, were you, did you do it alone? Yes, I did, Saima. I did it alone. I was just by myself. Uh, Sleep Park, was it the first time when you flew in your dream? Yeah, I usually, yes, Sleepwalker. I usually don't fly in my dreams. I usually don't fly in my dreams. In my dreams, I'm usually on the ground. <laughs> I'm on the ground in my dreams. Okay, Maria, did you feel lonely on this island? Yes, I did. I was looking for people. I felt lonely and I was looking for people. Um, Alice, what is your cooking with a shovel? Oh, I, I wasn't cooking, I was digging. I was digging a hole, Alice. So I was digging a hole in my backyard. Uh, Lolly, would you go back to this island? Yes, but I would only go back with you, Lolly. So I will only go back to this island with you. I will not go by myself. I will go with you. <laughs> okay, good. Where did... Ava, where did the umbrella fly? It flew to an island. It flew to a deserted island, Ava, with palm trees and sandy beaches. <laughs> Tomas, if the umbrella does not work properly, can you call Bob, the master, to fix it? I don't have Bob's number, Tomas. I don't have Bob's number. Please give me Bob's number. Okay, Lolly, let's go. Lolly, it's a beautiful deserted island with palm trees and sandy beaches. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's do one more. Ray Ray, where you found yourself when you woke up? Oh, good question. Where did you, okay, Ray Ray, where did you find yourself when you woke up? I found myself lying in my backyard. I found myself in the backyard when I woke up. Hey Prince, how you doing? We're doing a store, we're doing a game, keywords game. So let's do another keywords game, okay? Let's do one more. Okay, let's do one more. So I need three more keywords, okay? I need three more keywords and we will do another one. So this is one, we finished that, so let's do two. Let's do two. So I need three more keywords, please. Yep. <laughs> Mary Palm says, beach, sun, palm trees is my dream too. For sure, for sure, Mary Poppins. Okay, Dallas, I'll take one, I'll take one fork. Okay, fork. 
I'll use one of Dallas's fork. Say woo. How is your feeling when you fly? It's a wonderful feeling. It was a wonderful feeling. Okay, Lolly, classroom. I'll take classroom. Okay, I need one more keyword. Okay, Helga, North Pole, White Bear, ice cream. I'm going to say ice cream. Okay, I got my keywords here. Okay, I got three keywords. I got fork. I'll draw a little fork here. Okay, I got a fork. Classroom. We'll just, how about we'll just do a, a desk. Okay, classroom. I'm just, I'll just draw a desk for, okay. Okay, so we got desk and then ice cream. Okay. Okay, so we have fork, desk, or classroom, sorry. Fork, classroom, ice cream. Okay, I have to give, I have to tell a story for one minute using these three keywords. Okay, here we go. Okay, I gotta think real quick for a story. Fork, classroom, ice cream. Fork, classroom, ice cream. Fork, classroom, ice cream. Okay, here we go. And I was in the classroom and it was lunchtime in the classroom and the teacher gave us ice cream. Go, wow, ice cream? That's wonderful. We never have ice cream in the classroom. But the teacher said, you have to eat your ice cream with a fork. You cannot lick your ice cream. You cannot use a spoon for your ice cream. You must use a fork with your ice cream. And we we're going, oh, how are we going to do this? But we tried our best. So we had a small fork and we started using the fork to eat our ice cream. And we all did our best. It wasn't perfect but we enjoyed the ice cream with the fork. <laughs> and then I went home and told my mother and father, today we had ice cream with a fork in our classroom and they were surprised. <laughs> All right, that was the story. Now you have to ask me questions about the story, please. All right, Helga's right there. Helga, um, what did the teacher give you? The teacher gave us ice cream and forks. And the teacher said, you must eat your ice cream with a fork. Uh, Sleepwalker, was it vanilla ice cream? No, it was chocolate ice cream. Um, Ava says, where did you eat the ice cream? I ate the ice cream in the classroom. Sham, good morning. Maria, um, were you that teacher? No, I was a student. I would never force my students to eat ice cream with a fork. Mary Poppins, what flavor was the ice cream? It was chocolate. Sleepwalker, did you enjoy eating ice cream with a fork? Not, it was all right. I like ice cream, so anyways, okay, but I prefer a spoon or my, ma or my tongue, right? So either I want a spoon or just use my tongue. That's my preference for eating ice cream. Lolly, this teacher is a bit weird, isn't he? Yes, I thought so too. I thought this is a weird teacher. <laughs> Alice, why did you take the... Why did you take lessons can eat? Oh, Alice, um, it was lunchtime. It was lunchtime. So um, it was time for a nutrition break. It was time for a nutrition break. Um, Ava, what did you say your parents said? My parents said, um, that's strange. My parents said it was strange that we had ice cream with a fork in the classroom. 
My parents said, that was strange. Layla, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Layla. I'm, I'm telling my story using these three key words, fork, classroom, and ice cream. Um, Helga, what was the condition of eating ice cream? It was, um, it was okay. The condition, I, I prefer using my, I prefer using a spoon or my tongue, but it was all right. Sleepwalker, do, have you ever eaten ice cream with chopsticks? No, no, that, no, that's silly. <laughs> Sleepwalker, that's silly eating ice cream with chopsticks. Um, oh no, Slevin missed the story. Slevin, those are the key words. Um, I'm sorry about that, Slevin. Um, uh, Layla, now it's work time for me, but I stopped by to say hello. Layla, okay, thank you, Layla. Mwah, good. Thank you for stopping by, Layla. I appreciate that. Hey, Marcos is in the house. How are you doing, Marcos? Yeah, Marcos is here. <laughs> thank you, Tomas. It's, so Tomas says, um, I have an excellent imagination. Thank you very much. Um, it actually, you're, if you're forced to do it, right? So that this is kind of a, this activity forces you to use your imagination. So actually, this is a good um, activity to use your imagination, right? So your time, you have keywords, you have to say in a, a certain amount of time, so you're forced to use your imagination. So you should try it, Tomas. I'm sure you can come up with a fun story too, Tomas. Uh, Ava, have you ever eaten ice cream for lunchtime? Yes, I have. <laughs> of course, Ava. Yes, of course. A for Anna is in the house. Yes, you're a little late for our keyword game, but that's okay. We're almost done. So we're going to go to our next activity very, very soon here. Oh, Saima, how much did you eat? I ate um, a scoop. You know a scoop? So I had one scoop. So if you have a big spoon and you scoop it up, that's how much I had. So I had like a ball, let's say an ice cream ball. So a scoop looks like, it's like a ball, a ball of ice cream. That's what I had, one scoop, one scoop of ice cream. Okay, good, good. Sewu, who ate the fastest? Who ate the ice cream the fastest? Sewu, who ate the ice cream the fastest? I think it was, um, I think it was the kid with red hair. It was the kid with, <coughs> it was the kid with red hair. The kid with red hair ate the ice cream the fastest. Sleepwalker, was the teacher happy when you ate that ice cream with a fork? Yes, the, the Sleepwalker, the teacher had a big smile on his face. Sewu, yeah, okay. Samuel, have you enjoyed from, did, oh, did you enjoy that challenge? Samuel asks, did you enjoy that challenge, eating ice cream with a fork? Yes, I always enjoy eating ice cream, Samuel. I always enjoy eating ice cream. Hi, <laughs> that's right, Tomas. See? You just need some, um, some structure. You need a purpose, right, Tomas? So to use your imagination, you need um, purpose. You need um, time frame, and you can do it. Okay, Ava, did your teacher eat the ice cream too? Um, I don't think so. I don't think, the ice, I don't think the teacher had ice cream. Maya says, I think that was a good way for the teacher to have a break during the lesson as the students were too busy to talk trying to eat their ice cream with forks. Oh, Maya, you are very, very clever, Maya. So again, Maya does it again. She looks at the situation in a different way, yeah? So Maya, 
she thinks, and that's probably true, right? The teacher had a plan where if, if um, the teacher gives the students just the normal way of eating ice cream, spoon or your, or your tongue, that would just be normal and the students would be very, um, they would figure it out very quickly. It, the, ice cream would, the ice cream would be finished very quickly. But by the teacher giving the students ice cream, um, a fork, by the teacher giving a fork to the teacher or to the students to have their ice cream, it would um, challenge the students and that way the teacher would have more free time. So Maya, you did it again. You did it again. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Listen to me. I want to learn English. Please help me. Well, um, actually, I have, well, today's video is sponsored by Elsa and this is an app and this is actually a, let me, let me tell you the, the exact. So Elsa, you can practice your English anytime, anywhere. Um, Elsa has cutting edge AI technology, so artificial intelligence technology, and this will improve your pronunciation and important vocabulary, just like what I do here in my videos. Yeah, just like what we do here. Here, we practice our pronunciation, we practice vocabulary, we practice speaking, we practice listening. So you can do this with Elsa anytime, anywhere. And there are over 40 topics and 1,600 plus lessons, yeah? And you can um, download Elsa right here in the, you can see Elsa in my descriptions, the um, link. So let's, let's try one game, okay? We, there's games here with Elsa. So let me open my phone and let's do a game using Elsa. So let's see where, there's Elsa here, right there. And um, we have, let's go to games. So, so we have a menu here and different choices. So I'm gonna go games. And let's do a, and so we have different games. So we have pronunciation games, intonation games, listening games, word stress games, conversation games, video conversation games. So let's go to, I think it'd be easy for us to do listening right now. And that way you can do it with me. All right, so let's go to listening. All right, so let's do one right here, okay. So here, can we listen, can you hear the difference, okay? So here we go. Bus. Let me turn it up so, maybe, so we can. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Bus. Okay. Buzz. Bus. Okay, here's the top choice. Buzz. Here's the bottom choice. Bus. Okay, I think it's the bottom choice. All right, <laughs> woohoo, did it, okay. So buzz, bus. Let's go, here we go, next one. Zip. Okay, we can hear it again one more time. Zip. Okay, is it this one? Sip. Or this one? Zip. Okay, let's do it again. Sip. Zip. Okay, let's go, I think it's the bottom one. Yay! So sip and zip, sip and zip. Okay, let's do one more. Ice. Okay, let's hear it again. Ice. Okay, we got here. I think it's ice. All right, yes. So there's two ways it worked, right? One way, you could only hear the word. And the second way, you can see the word and um, hear the word, okay? So, so it's interesting. So here, there's nothing for us to see, right? There's nothing, so it's just pure listening. Once. Did you hear that? So now we can see which word. Once. Okay, is it this or this one? I think it's 
once. So I think we need the C. Ooh, okay, so yeah, so you can, um, yeah, say well, it's a good app for sure. And um, I'm sure, I think it's free, right? You get the free version and there's the, the, the pro version, which is um, you, you need, you know, it, it costs money, but there's a, a free version, I think. And just go to the descriptions below and check it out. Try it out for yourself. It can't, you can't go wrong. Yeah, so there's lots of um, different ways to practice pronunciation, practice listening, um, practice vocabulary. So anyway, so please check it out. Oh, A for Anna. Elsa is one of my favorite apps. Okay, so great, great. So some of you already know about it. So um, if you're interested and you want to try it out, please go to get Elsa through my um, link. Okay, that way I get credit so the people Elsa knows. Hey, um, people who are watching Mark's videos are downloading the app. So please, if you're interested, please use the link in my video. Okay, that would help me. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, yeah, very, hey Charles, how you doing? All right, good, 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 good. Oh, oh, um, Tomas says, I think zip means zip code. Well, there is zip code and zip means very quick, very fast, in a zip, in a zip. So that means very fast, but there is also zip code. And I'm not sure what that, what that means, zip code, but yeah, zip code is your um, mailing code. So you have an address and then the zip code, which is, um, for me, it's like six letters. So depending on where you live, what country you, you're, you're living in, your zip code's gonna be um, longer or shorter. But basically, it's a code to your area where you live. Where you live, it's an area code. Okay, good, good. Okay, Layla, thank you for, yeah, that would be great. Try it out and um, make sure you use the link in my description so I get credit so they know that you are getting it from me. Okay, okay, good, good. All right, all right, cool, yes. All right, so um, let's go to our next activity. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, 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 thank you for that. Thank you. So the people at Elsa will be very happy. So thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So um, let's go to our next activity, shall we? You're very welcome, Layla. You're very welcome. Thank you for um, helping my sponsor, right? So um, Elsa is helping me. And by you doing that, you're helping me too. Okay. So um, let's do our next activity, which is answer the question, okay? So here you are asking me questions, so now I'm gonna ask you questions, all right? So now it's time for me to ask you questions. All right, so um, answer the question, answer the question. So this is our next activity. Answer the question. Answer the question, please. So, okay, here we go. Our first question. And actually, I need a magnet because I'm going to put the card up there. So maybe we'll get a couple, two or three. I'm going to look at the clock, make sure we have enough time. Okay, here we go. Card. Well, question number one. Question number one. Oh, Miley's here. Hey, Miley, how are you doing? Mwah. Good to see Miley. Good, good, good. Okay. Here we go. Question number one. What do you like on your burger? <laughs> I need some water. Question number one. What do you like on your burger? 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 
Oh, Sleepwalker likes chicken. I like chicken. What do you like on your burger? What do you like on your burger? <laughs> in my burger, I like meat. Yes, of course. <laughs> a burger needs meat. Yes, it does. I like meat on my, of course, of course, that goes, that goes without saying. Without meat, there's no burger, so of course, you need meat on your burger. Um, ah, oh, Tomas, me too. Tomas likes mustard. Me too. I like a lot of mustard on my burger, for sure. Ah, oh, Ava likes everything. So Ava, for example, tell me your choice. What are, what are your top choices on your burger? Tetsuro likes teriyaki on his burger. Teriyaki. Samuel likes cheese on his burger. Maya likes cheese on her burger. Sleepwalker, I enjoy cheese, tomatoes, lettuce as well. Anna, I love a lot of pickles and tomatoes on my burger. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. Ray Ray, meat with tomato. Of course, meat. Okay, Mary Poppins, I like chicken and vegetables on my burger. Sarah, I like extra cheese. Nice. Ella, I like pickles, onion, pickled onions. Okay, I like pickled onions and cucumbers on my burger. Good. Helga, I like cheese on my burger too. I like cheese on my burger. Tomas likes onion and cucumber. Okay, okay, I need, I can't, how do I, okay, I need to know how to pronounce your name. Um, I'm going to write, because this is bothering me, because you're here every week, and I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm going to highlight your name, and then you're going to help me pronounce your name, okay, so I'm going to write your name in the chat, and I'm going to say, Please help me, please help me to pronounce your name because um, it's bothering me. So please help me to pronounce your name. So I want to I want to be able to pronounce your name correctly because the the S V E T L A N A I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Sewu I like barbecue beef tomato onion and tomato. Good 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 good. Ah Alice likes meat with vegetables. Okay great great. I like for me. On my burger, I like, okay, okay, Helga, Svelana, Svelana, Svelana. Okay. Okay, other people are helping me. Oh, okay. Saveta, Saveta, Saveta. Okay, that, Saveta. Is that correct? Saveta. I can do that, Saveta. Saveta. Okay, okay, Saveta. <laughs> Saveta. How's that? So, Saveta, is that okay? Am I pronouncing it correctly? Sweat. Sweat. Is it sweat? Saveta. Okay, good, good. Saveta. Nice, nice. Saveta. So, and Lana, Sav I'm going to say Saveta, Tomas. That's easier for me. Saveta. <laughs> I'm going to say Saveta because that's easy for me. Oh, no, say was hungry. So, um, actually, this picture is how I like my burger, exactly. So, I like um, pickles, tomatoes, onions, and lettuce. Pickles, tomatoes, onions, and lettuce with, with mustard. Savetta, thank you, Savetta. Okay, and and I bet that's a woman's name. Yes, are you a woman? 
I hope you are, because um, Saveta seems like a woman's name to me. No mayo, no lolly, no, ho, ho, ho. never. Mustard, only mustard, mustard. <laughs> okay, let's do... Sweet. So SV is like sweet. Saveda. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. Mwah. Okay, Saveda. My. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number two. Number two. Here we go. Let me write this down. Number two. Okay. Two. Here we go. Card number two. And the question is the question. Ah, uh, Lolly says, no mustard, only mayo. Mayo is mayonnaise, everyone. So mayo means mayonnaise. And um, I do not put mayonnaise on hamburgers. No, no, mustard. Mustard is the condiment for hamburgers. Um, Saveta, yes, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, good, good, good. So um, kisses to Saveta. Okay. Oh, someone likes a double cheeseburger, tomato, and egg. Wow, that's like a Hawaiian burger with the egg on it. That's like a Hawaiian. Hawaiian, if you have a Hawaiian burger, that means there's going to be an egg on it. No mayo. No, no, no. No mayonnaise on hamburgers, please. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Question number two. What's in the refrigerator? Oh, Sleepwalker, yellow mustard is the best. Question number two. What is in the refrigerator? What is in the refrigerator? Okay, Layla. See ya, Layla. Come back tomorrow, Layla. See you tomorrow. Good, Ella. That's the way to go, Ella. Mustard, yellow mustard on the burger is the best. Okay, what's in the refrigerator? What's in the refrigerator? Please tell me what's in the refrigerator. Please tell me. I, pugnant, I don't know, like, I don't think it's pugnant. Yellow mustard, I think it's kind of a, a kind of sweet spice. Kind of a sweet spice, I think. Okay. Oh, Sleepwalker. There are eggs, milk, yogurt, meat, fruit in the refrigerator. All right. Sewu, there are a lot of things in the fridge. All my food. For example, Sewu, I want you to practice your English, Sewu. So tell me what's in the refrigerator. Please practice your English. Helga. There is milk, cheese, and vegetables in the refrigerator. So milk, there are, so we should say there is milk, cheese, and vegetables in the refrigerator because um, milk, so we don't say there are milk, so that sounds strange, Helga, so it should be there is milk, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Tomas, milk is in the fridge. There was Eggs, milk, fish, and vessel. Oh, there was, but now there isn't. There was, but now there isn't. Anna says, a lot of salad, fruit, and vegetables. Also some junk food. <laughs> Got to have a little bit of junk food, right, Anna? With all that healthy food, you must have a little bit of junk food. Lolly says, there are a lot of frozen pizza in my fridge. Ava, um, there is milk, eggs, butter, fruit, and vegetables. Samuel, there, there is some frozen meat, food, or there's some frozen meat and ice cream. Marcos, there are fresh fruits, vegetables, milk, and for some, and for sure, some beers. Some beers for when you get when you finish work and you want to relax, it's good to have a beer, right, Marcos? 
Alice, um, there are so many, there's so many foods in my refrigerator as ice cream, chicken, fruit, snacks, fruit snacks. Maria, there are various vegetables. Tetsuro, uh, sashimi, yakiniku, green tea, and light. Okay, everybody, there's some Japanese here. Sashimi is raw fish. Yakiniku is um, like barbecued meat. Korean style, Seibu. Yakiniku is Korean style barbecue. Okay, good. So when, when, when Tetsuro says there's sashimi, that is raw fish, yakiniku meaning maybe the um, meat is ready to be barbecued, but it's not cooked yet, it's in the refrigerator, but the meat is thinly cut, and so it cooks very quickly on the grill. So that is yakiniku. Uh, Tomas, there are some cans of beer in the fridge sometimes, sometimes. Miley says, okay, Miley, there is milk. So we don't want our next to the milk. There are milk. That doesn't make sense, right? There is milk, eggs, parmesan, and zucchini. A for Anna, there is durian. Wow, in my refrigerator. A for Anna has durian in her fridge. Wow, wow. Helga, there is milk, cheese, and vegetables in the refrigerator. Very good, Helga. Mary Poppins, there is a lot of fruit, eggs, milk, and cheese in the fridge. Ava, there is jam, salami, ham, and more food. Sebu, apple, milk, vegetable, and raw fish. Yeah, just like Tetsuro. Uh, Lolly, there is some homemade soup in my fridge. Oh, good, 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 good. Ella, I have some frozen squid. Wow. Oh, here we go, Maya, the Russian refrigerator. Here we go. There is milk, curds, vegetables, and cheese and fish in my refrigerator. <laughs> no caviar, Maya. Maya, where's the caviar? <laughs> no, it's yakiniku is not fried meat. It's not fried. So not so you don't cook the meat in oil. So yakiniku is barbecue style. So under um, a flame. Tomas, uh, Mark, did you use bed for sleep? I use a um, futon. I use a futon, Tomas. Not a bed, a futon, which is kind of a, a portable bed. You can, it's like a thick blanket or, you know, it's a pad that you can, you can um, move, right? So I, I use a futon, not a bed. Marissa, is it possible let's move with your arms? I don't know. I can't. Mercedes. Mercedes asked me to move my arms less. I don't know. I can't when I'm talking, I use my, my hands and arms, so that would be very difficult. No, I can't. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I, ca I can't do this. Okay, good, everyone. All right, so I'm looking at the clock, and I think it's time to change activities. Okay, so what's in the refrigerator? Lots of food is in the refrigerator. Okay, good, good, good. Well... Let's go, now it's time to, let's do our dictation cards, okay? Dictation cards. So you need a pencil and paper. When it's dictation time, you need to get a pencil and paper. Okay, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight cards today, eight cards, and our topic is though at the end of a sentence, though at the end of the sentence. Okay, so I'm going to write it out here, right here. We got space here. Okay, so though at the end of the sentence, though at the end of a sentence, and we're using it to contrast with an inject with the um, interjection. So um, contrast with um, interjection. Okay, so um, plus minus interjection. Okay, so we're, we use though at the end of a sentence when we contrast, right? So um, one positive and one negative with the interjection. Okay, so that means that we're putting the, the emphasis um, on, the con on though, okay? So, okay, and it though means um, nevertheless, however, nevertheless, however, okay, all right, all right, all right. And um, today, because, because we're, use, we're, we're um, going to practice though at the end of the sentence, and we're contrasting two, two um, um, phrases that th th these are long sentences, okay? So as you can see, they're a little long today. So um, sorry about that, but... Um, the sentences are a little long. Okay, wait. Sleepwalker, um, one hour of the lesson passed already, but we have one more hour though. Yeah, okay, good, good. Uh, Sleepwalker, you are very, that's great. Okay, so we're contrasting plus, so, okay, let's look at um, as an example, Sleepwalker sentence, very good. Okay, one hour has passed, so that's gone, okay? So let's, we can call that a, a minus, okay? We can put a minus there, and um, all right. But we have one more hour though, okay? So we're contrasting, one hour is gone, but then we have one hour left. And so we're contrasting the two phrases and... Um, we're using though as an interjection, like though, however, okay? So I like that, Sleepwalker. I like it, I like it. So one, okay, let's just make it quick. Okay, one hour has passed. But one hour to go. To go, though. So let's just say, it's, this is a kind of a weird sentence, but okay, one hour has passed, so that's finished. But one hour to go, right? So that's positive, though. So however, right? So one, it's, it's a two-hour lesson. One hour has passed, but one hour to go, though. Okay, so we're, we are contrasting these two um, phrases. One hour has passed comma, but one hour to go, though. So very good, Sleepwalker. Thank you for that. Okay, Maya says, sometimes there is some caviar, but not black caviar, as it is um, unimagin unimaginably expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, 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 Maya. All right, let's do it, everyone. Let's do it. So you need a pencil and paper, please. And we're going to do four steps. I got to write the steps. We're going to do four steps. 
we're going to do uh, dictation. We're going to do shadowing. We're going to do on your own. And we're going to do a quiz. Okay, those are our four steps for dictation today. Pencil and paper. Lolly is set. That's good. Here we go. Let's get right to it. These are long, everyone, so I'll go slowly, but I'm only going to say it three times, okay? Here we go. I'm going to shuffle up a little bit. You know what to say. You know what to say. You know what to say. <laughs> You know what to say. You love you know what to say. You know what to say. I'm shuffling. I'm mixing the cards. You know what to say. You know what to say. Okay, I guess you're not gonna say. It. Okay, thank you, Lolly. <laughs> Lolly always says, stop shuffling. Okay, here we go. Card number one, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. High speed crashes don't always result in injury, though. Hello. High speed crashes don't always result in injury, though. High speed crashes don't always result in injury, though. Card number two. She said the key is gone, but it must be somewhere, though. Uh, there is a little meal that we didn't eat yesterday. I don't know how it, how it is it called is that a question there is a little meal that we didn't eat yesterday i don't know what it's called i'm not sure either what you mean okay here we go card number two she said the key is gone but it must be somewhere though she said the key is gone but it must be somewhere, though. She said the key is gone, but it must be somewhere, though. Number three. She wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. She wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. She wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. Card number four. AI has made a lot of progress, but people cannot be replaced, though. AI has made a lot of progress, but people cannot be replaced, though. AI has made a lot of progress, but people cannot be replaced, though. Okay, number five. The professor knows math well, but few of us understood his lesson, though. The professor knows math well, but few of us understood his lesson, though. The professor knows math well. But few of us understood his lesson 
though. Okay, number six. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it though. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it though. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it though. Okay, number seven. Even with inside information, I stood I still couldn't make money in the stock market though. Even with inside information, I still couldn't make money in the stock market though. Even with inside information, I still couldn't make money in the stock market though. Okay, last card. Card number eight. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. <laughs> okay, all right, those are long sentences. They're a, a big challenge today, big challenge, but you did it. Okay, we did the dictation. Yes, you listened and wrote down what I said. Yes, you did. Okay, now it's time to shadow. That is speaking practice. So now, Writing practice is finished. Now it's time for speaking practice, okay? So I want you to say these sentences with me together at the same time, okay? And um, we will shadow the cards three times. You will not see the sentence, you will not see the picture, but I, after we shadow, I will show you the card and we will, um, you will see the sentence, you will see the picture and we will talk about the meaning, okay? So here, we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. High-speed crashes don't always result in injury, though. 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 All right, so, um, oh, my guy fixed my camera. Hold on a sec. The, the um, focus is getting weird. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Um, so here, we're contrasting, right? High-speed crashes don't always result in injury, right? So we have... Um, Two ideas, high speed crashes and injury, right? And so we're contrasting those two and we're using though as an interjection. However, right? Nonetheless, or however. Okay, card number two. She said the key is gone, but it must be somewhere though. She said the key is gone, but it must be somewhere though. She said the key is gone, but it must be somewhere though. She said the key is gone, but it must be somewhere though. It must be, so here, contrasting, right? She said the key is gone, it's gone. And then, but it must be somewhere. So it's gone, it's somewhere. And the emphasis is however, right? Though, though, interjection. It must be somewhere, though. Three, 
She wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. She wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. <laughs> she wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. <laughs> that is the story. I can't, I don't know, I don't know Russian or Ukrainian, so I, I can't say your name, but um, yep, that's the story of Lost Keys for sure. It must be somewhere, though. <laughs> of course, it's somewhere, right? It, it's not, it didn't disappear into nowhere, right? It's somewhere. <laughs> she wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. <laughs> How is she going to skydive if she's scared of heights? I don't understand. She'll never go skydiving. But why would she say she wants to? Because she's scared of heights. Okay, four. Here we go, four. Ah, Tomas, my key is gone too, but later I found it. That's good. You found your key. Good, good, good. Okay, here we go. Number four. AI has made a lot of progress, but people cannot be replaced, though. AI has made a lot of progress, but people cannot be replaced, though. AI has made a lot of progress. But people cannot be replaced, though. AI has made a lot of progress. But people cannot be replaced, though. No, no, no. So AI, artificial intelligence, right? So we have driverless cars. We have um, our, our smartphones. Yes, we have... We have YouTube, right? The AI on, in YouTube. We have lots of AI is everywhere, artificial intelligence. So they could do a lot of things, but they cannot replace people. No, no, no. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe some, some people, but we still need people. Yes, we do. All right, five. Here we go, five. The professor knows math well, but few of us understood his lesson, though. The professor knows math well, but few of us understood his lesson, though. The professor knows math well, but few of us understood his lesson, though. The professor knows math well, but few of us understood his lesson, though. So, just because someone knows something well doesn't mean they can teach it, right? So this professor knows math well, but his lessons are bad because the students don't, don't understand, right? So if you're going to teach, you have to do it in a way where the students understand. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, number six. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> um, so... It takes time to speak English. It's not, it doesn't happen quickly. No, it doesn't. Okay, here we go. Number six. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it, though. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it, though. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it, though. They laugh at me. But I've got used to it, though. That's kind of sad, right? So maybe this person is overweight, and so the kids laugh, but the person has got used to it, though. So um, maybe... Uh-oh, I got to sneeze. I need... Sorry, I got to get a tissue. I just had to sneeze. My hay fever, my hay fever. Sorry. I need, I need a tissue, sorry. I'm back, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, so they laugh at me, but I've got used to it, though. So actually, maybe um, 
you see some of the um, like comedians, right? They're very funny people, and you see maybe um, many comedians. Maybe they had a difficult childhood, right? And so they learn because maybe the other kids laughed at them or made fun of them, and they developed a a sense of humor, right? And they're able to to laugh about themselves, talk about themselves, and um, and so they kind of got used to kids making fun of them, and so they became funny, and then as an adult, they became comedians. So that's maybe a, the story of a lot of um, comedians, right? So they had a difficult childhood, and they had to um, become funny, right? Okay, good. Um, yeah, I am allergic to pollen. Ah. I don't like it. I don't like pollen. Okay, here we go. Number seven. Even with inside information, I still couldn't make money in the stock market, though. Even with inside information, I still couldn't make money in the stock market, though. Even with inside information, I still couldn't make money in the stock market, though. Even with inside information, I still couldn't make money in the stock market, though. Yeah, so even with good information about, okay, this company is going to go up in value, this company is going to go down in value, so you should buy stock in this company or you should sell stock in that company and even though with all that information I couldn't make money though <laughs> okay that's my story that's my story okay here we go number eight number eight cryptocurrency has advantages but there are many questions though cryptocurrency has many advantages but there are many questions though. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Yep, so cryptocurrency, I don't know. Like maybe we should buy some. I'm thinking I should buy some, maybe a little bit because I don't know. What do you think about cryptocurrency? Should we, should we get on the bandwagon? Should we, or be left behind? I don't know, right? Because it keeps, the value keeps going up and up and up. Um, but lots of questions. What, how do you, how do you use cryptocurrency? Um, how, you know, if you buy it, how easy is it to sell it? Do you get cash or do you have to stay in cryptocurrency? I don't know. There are many questions though. I, I want to know more about cryptocurrency. I want to know more. Okay. Good job, everyone. We shadowed and talked about the meaning. Yes, we did. So let's check that off. All right. Now it's time to do it on your own. All right. So we're going to take turns. So the first two steps, we did it together. The third step on your own, we're going to take turns. I will say the sentence, you say the sentence. I will say it, you will say it, and then, um, yeah. But when you say it, it, I will cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence just by looking at the picture, okay? It's a challenge, but that's why we are here. We're here to challenge ourselves. Yes, we are. Okay, here we go. Card number one, I will go first, then you will go, all right? so. My turn, your turn. My turn, your turn. Here we go. Here we go. High speed crashes don't always result in injury though. Now it's your turn. High speed crashes don't always result in injury though.
High-speed crashes don't always result in injury, though. She said the key is gone, but it must be somewhere, though. She said the key is gone, but it must be somewhere, though. She said the key is gone, but it must be somewhere, though. She wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. She wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. She wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. She wants to skydive. She's scared of heights, though. AI has made a lot of progress, but people cannot be replaced, though. AI has made a lot of progress, but people cannot be replaced, though. AI has made a lot of progress, but people cannot be replaced, though. AI has made a lot of progress, but people cannot be replaced, though. The professor knows math well, but few of us understood his lesson, though. The professor knows math well, but few of us understood his lesson, though. The professor knows math well, but few of us understood his lesson, though. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it, though. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it, though. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it, though. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it, though. Even with inside information, I still couldn't make money in the stock market, though. Even with inside information, I still couldn't make money in the stock market, though. Even with inside information, I still couldn't make money in the stock market, though. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions, though. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions, though. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions, though. Is that for me, Tomas? No, no, I, I don't have, I don't do the stock market. No, that's, no, I, I no. No, I don't do that. Uh, we, sh we should check it out, Tomas. I think we should buy a little bit. I think we should try, Tomas. I think we should, we should buy some. I think we should. Okay. You did it on your own. 
Let's check it off. Let's check it off. All right, now it's quiz time. Quiz time. So I'm going to shuffle. Okay, can be many much used in a firm of set. Um, yes, yes, I have. I have many books in my house. I have many books in my house. Um, I have too much, or there, there is, uh, too much is negative. So, well, it doesn't have to, how much would you like? That's positive. So it depends, yes. So if you're offering, I, I, I don't know your name because I, I, I don't know the, I don't know Russian, so I, so um, many, yes, that could be affirmative sentence, like um, I have many books, um, much, how much would you like? So that's a question. It's also, um, they could be either. I have too many books, that's negative. Um, I have many, that's positive. Um, how much would you like? That's positive. Um, there's too much, there's too much, pollen in the air that's negative okay can you explain the following video lesson difference between many much okay yeah okay that that's it okay I'm always looking for ideas to make videos thank you for that many much lots of a lot okay let me um, let me get a pencil to make a note and um, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm always looking for ideas to make videos, for sure. So, okay, many, much. I have some, I, I do have videos on these topics, but you can never make too many, right? Lots, lots of, a lot. Yeah, okay. Thank you for um, a lot of. So, so Basically, many is um, countable, much is uncountable, lots of, a lot of, so a lot of is more formal than lots of, so lots of and a lot of is the same meaning, but um, a lot of is more formal and lots of is, is um, not as formal, less, less formal. Okay, let's do it on your own. Okay, I will take the first three cards. Here we go. All right, on your own. Okay, so what is the sentence? Now, I shuffled, right? You saw me shuffling, and here we go. What is the, can you remember the sentence? Can you remember the sentence? Do your best. Okay, so you want um, negative and affirmative sentences, okay. What is the sentence? What is the sentence? Okay, so affirmative and negative. Okay, Miley. Miley is, she's on it. She says, cryptocurrency advantages, but there are many questions though. Sleepwalker, cryptocurrency has a lot of advantages, but there are many questions though. That, that's okay, Ava. It's a long sentence. That's okay. Don't worry, Ava. Um, Marcos, cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Marcos, do you have cryptocurrency? Do you have Bitcoin, Marcos? A for Ana, cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Tetsuro, cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Oh. Oh, I, I'm so, I forgot already, so, so, Savida, 
Savita. Savita. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Okay, good. Let's check. Let's check. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Okay, good. Let's go card number two. Ava, my daughter has some Bitcoin. I don't understand. Yeah, I, I want to. Yeah, I think, I think we should buy a little bit. I don't know. Or study more about it. You should um, ask your daughter more information. Ava, ask your daughter. Um, you know, ask her to teach you about it. Yeah. Okay. What is the sentence, please? Number two, Maria, cryptocurrency has advantages, but there are many questions though. Very good. <laughs> it depends. So Tomas, how much she has? If she has a few coins and one, one, one Bitcoin is like, I don't know, like $40,000 now. It's crazy. It's crazy. If you bought, if Ava's daughter bought Bitcoin a long time ago, maybe she's rich today. But, um, yeah, I don't know. $4,000, is that what it is now? Okay, Sewu, good, good. Okay, Sewu's on the board. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it though. Alice, they laugh at me, but I've got used to it though. Samuel, he laugh at me, but I got used to it. Miley, they laugh at me, but I've got used to it though. Ray, Ray, they laugh at me, but I have got used to it though. Yeah, okay, let's, Tetsuro, they laugh at me, but I've got used to it though. Very good. Tomas. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's check the sentence. Yeah, good, good. Maria says, they laugh at me, but I've got used to it though. So, look at, this is it, Maria. They laugh at me, but I've got used to it though. I've got used to it though. Okay, here we go. Last one. Card number three. What is the sentence? Please write the sentence. Okay. Here we go. What is the sentence? Please write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence? What is the sentence? Okay, Miley's on the board. High speed crashes don't always result in injury though. Sleepwalker, high speed crashes, not always a result of injury, though. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I can't, I don't, oh, is your name Ira? Is it Ira? <laughs> Thank you, Ira. Okay, Savita. High speed crashes don't always result in injury, though, yes. Marcos, high speed crashes don't always result in injury, though. Maria, high speed crashes don't always result in injury, though. Okay, good. Let's check. Da -da -da. Here's the question or the sentence. Oh, Irina. Okay, you're a woman. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, Irina. 
Yeah, Ira is a boy's name. Irina is a girl's name. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> Irina, thank you. Okay, welcome, Irina. This is your first time here, I think, Irina. High speed crashes don't always result in injury, though. Okay, that was the quiz. We did it. Good. You did it. You did it, not we, you. All right, let's check it off. Now we have one more activity, one more, and that is Lolly's Revenge. Yes, and that is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue. All right, and there is, there are, there are four steps to Lolly's Revenge. And the four steps are, the four steps are, we have the conversation. Then we have questions and, yeah, questions and answers, I guess. And then um, after that, we have reading. And then after that, we have shadowing. Okay, that's Lolly's Revenge right there. Four steps, conversation, Q&A, reading, shadowing. Okay, so let's do it, shall we? Okay, here we go. Lolly's Revenge. Woohoo, Lolly. This is for Lolly, yeah. Okay, here we go. This is Joe. This is Sue. Hello, Joe. Hello, Sue. And let's count down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Joe is first. They must be here, though. I'm certain that the keys are gone. We need to look harder. I've looked. I've, I've already looked everywhere. Did you look in the car? In the car? No, not there. I'll go and look. I found them. Oh, good. I'm happy. You should have looked there sooner. Sorry to make you have worried. <laughs> okay. Let's do it again. We'll go slower. Okay. I'll go slower. Here we go. One more time. This is Joe. They must be here, though. I'm certain that the keys are gone. We need to look harder. I've already looked everywhere. Did you look in the car? In the car? No, not there. I'll go and look. I found them. Oh, good. I'm happy. You should have looked there sooner. Sorry to make you have worried. <laughs> what do you want to do? One more time. Are you ready for the questions? What shall we do? What shall we do? Oh, good, Tomas. Okay, Sleepwalker, last time. Oh, Tomas is ready for the question. Okay, Lolly, last time, more slowly. That's good. Samuel, last time. Tetsuo, last time. Okay. That sounds good to me. I think that's a good plan. Ava, um, Saveda. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Jama one more time. Okay, here we go. One more time, slowly. One more time, or last time, slowly. Last time, slowly. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. They must be here, though. They must be here, though. I'm certain that the keys are gone. We need to look harder. 
I've already looked everywhere. Did you look in the car? In the car? No, not there. I'll go and look. I found them. Oh, good. I'm happy. You should have looked there sooner. Sorry to make you have worried. <laughs> oh, su, oh, su, oh, su, oh, su. Okay. That was the conversation. All right. Now it's time for questions. All right. So we have four questions. Four questions. Are you ready? Question number one. What are they looking for? Question number one. What are they looking for? What are Sue and Joe looking for? What are they looking for? I need to get more coffee. I am out of coffee, but I have some in my pot right here. So I'm gonna... Okay, Lolly says for keys. What are they looking for? The keys. They are looking for the keys. She lost her keys. Keys, 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 keys. Oh, you guys got it. Yes. Keys, keys. They're looking for the keys. Yes, yes. Good, good. Question number two. Question number two. Where did, where didn't Sue look? Where didn't Sue look? Question two. Where didn't Sue look? Question number two. Where didn't Sue look? Yeah, Ava, they are looking for the keys. Yes, Ava. Good. Yes, Maya. They are looking for the keys. Two, Sleepwalker. Where didn't Sue look? Sleepwalker says she didn't look in the car. Lolly says she didn't look in the car. Tamas says she did not see it in the car. Saveta says in the car. Tetsuro, she didn't look in the chair. Tomas, car. A for Anna, she didn't look in the car. Marcos, she didn't look in the car. Miley, she didn't look in the car. Samuel, Sue, didn't look in the car. Hannah, she didn't look in the car. Maria, in the car. Ray Ray, everywhere. <laughs> Ava, she didn't, she did not look in the car. Maya, she didn't look in the car. Ella, she looked everywhere for them. Where didn't, didn't. So Sue didn't look in the car. She didn't look in the car. Okay, question number three, number three. Why is Sue happy? Question three, why is Sue happy? Why is Sue happy? Why is she happy? Why is Sue happy? Yes. Yes, Sleepwalker. Ava, she didn't find it. No. Yeah, Lolly. That's right. Joe found the keys. So she's happy because Joe found them. She's happy. She's happy that Joe found the keys. Tetsuro, because the keys were found in the car. Yes. A for Anna. Sue was happy because he found the keys. Ray Ray, because they, he found the keys. Joe found the keys. Because. Samuel, because Marcos, she is happy because Joe found the damn keys. Now, Joe is an angry man. He goes, where are the damn keys? <laughs> where are the damn keys? Or like, um, Joe, if he was like an angry man, he'd go, here are the damn keys, right in the car. 
They're in the car. Why didn't you look in the car? Here are the damn keys. I've been looking two hours all over the house for the damn keys. They were in the car the whole time. Why didn't you see, why didn't you think about looking in the car? You had me looking in the bathroom. You had me looking in the bedroom. You had me looking in the living room. You had me looking in the kitchen. But they were in the car where they should be. Why didn't you look there in the first place? Here are the damn keys. Gah! <laughs> but Joe is not an angry man. Joe is a very kind man. So Joe was not angry. <laughs> that was Marcos. Yes, that was Marcos because he said damn keys. And so Marcos made me change Joe. <coughs> Joe has always been a nice guy. Um, a for Anna, what is damn? Is it a curse word? It, it's, <laughs> thank you, Marcos. Um, damn, it's, it's sort of, like it, it's kind of in between. So, um, we, like, like, um, damn it. So it's, yeah, it's a curse word, but it's not strong. So it, it's not, good, good question, Anna. That's a very good question. Damn is a curse word, but it's not too strong. There are stronger curse words, right? There are much stronger curse words. So damn is not a, that's not too, too strong. But, but you do not want um, children to say that. You do not want children to say that. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Academy, for... So I just been presented the Academy Award. Thank you, Academy, for this prestigious award. I want to thank the Green Team for um, all their support. Without the green team, I wouldn't have won this award. So I want to say thank you to the green team. And of course, I should not forget my wife and my kids and um, all my friends. Thank you very much for this wonderful award. <laughs> Samuel, we will, I will show you. You will see this. I can also, I can put it here and take a picture of the, I will take a picture, I will put it on the whiteboard, okay? So Samuel, um, so you, I, it's already typed out, so I'll show you. Okay, here we go, yes. So um, question three, why is Sue happy? She's happy because um, Joe found the keys. Thank you very much, Anna, thank you very much, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, here we go. Question four, last question. This is question four, the last question. Thank you very much, Tomas. And the Oscar goes to Mark. <laughs> okay, here we go, four. What is Sue sorry about? <laughs> oh, damn key. Uh, uh, okay, Samuel. So, so Marcos used that as an expression, right? Here's the damn key. So, so, um, Joe was looking around for the car keys or the keys and he's getting angry, right? Because where are the keys? And Sue, Sue's the one who lost the keys. So maybe Sue goes, Joe, help me find the keys. And so Joe, so Joe's looking in the kitchen. Joe's looking ever, everywhere in the house and but they're car keys. So Joe asked Sue, did you look in the car? And she goes, car? No, not the car. And so Joe goes out to the car, sees the keys. So he's been looking for maybe a long time. He's been looking for the keys and then he's got them and he's angry, right? And so he goes, here are the damn keys, right? And so um, I found your damn keys. So damn kind of means go to hell. Okay, so damn you, go to hell. So Joe's saying, these keys can go to hell. Okay, damn these keys. I found the damn keys because he's been looking for them and it was, he, 
Sue should have first looked in the car, right? Car keys, look in the car. But um, she didn't. And so Joe did it and he was angry and he goes, here are the damn keys. They can go to hell. These keys, I hate these keys. <laughs> okay. You got it, Samuel? So you could say, I can't, oh, here's the damn pencil or here's the damn coffee cup, right? So you're angry, you've been looking for something and it's like, okay, this can go to hell. Like, ah. So it, it's a, you're angry at something. So don't say to people, don't say that like, damn you. Like, don't say that to people because that means like go to hell. But we, you can do that with things, right? Like this pencil, like, ah, this pencil can go to hell. Or, you know, this, this, um, this cup can go to hell. So, you know, damn this cup. So that's okay with things but don't say that to people. Okay, here we go. Question number four, number four, here we go. What is Sue sorry about? Question. Yeah, Tomas, um, you just got hidden from YouTube. YouTube just hid your comment, Tomas. <laughs> don't use that word. It's been hidden. So I'm gonna, Tomas, I'm gonna keep that your comment hidden. I'm going to keep it hidden, Tomas, because YouTube does not like that word you wrote. Okay. Question four. What is Sue sorry about? What is Sue sorry about? What is Sue sorry about? Yes, yeah, Sleepwalker, because Sue made him worried. Very good. Yes, yeah, Sleepwalker, of course you know. Sleepwalker, of course you know. You know everything, Sleepwalker. You know it all, Sleepwalker. You always got it correct. Okay, so what is Sue sorry about? And then um, Sue sorry to have made Joe worried. Yes, good sleepwalker. Okay, those are the questions. Let's, let's tick it off. Let's give it a tick. Or a check mark. Okay, let's let's read it. Let's read it, shall we? Yeah, so Maya, Sue is sorry about not having looked in the car. That's right, Maya. Tomas says Sue is worried or Sue is sorry because she did not look sooner in the car. Good. Miley, Sue is sorry she worried. Joe, very good. Samuel, because she was, because she worried Joe. Because she worried Joe. Yes, Samuel. Tetsuro, because she made him worried. Marcos, she is sorry about making Joe worried. She is sorry about making Joe worried. Okay, good. Now let's read it, okay? Let's Let's, let's read the conversation together. Let's read it together. Okay, here we go. Let's read it together. Joe's first. They must be here though. I'm certain that the keys are gone. We need to look harder. I've already looked everywhere. Did you look in the car? In the car? No, not there. I'll go and look. I found them. Oh good, I'm happy. You should have looked there sooner. Sorry to make you have worried. <laughs> Sorry to make you have worried. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's look at it one more time. Here we go. 
They must be here, though. I'm certain that the keys are gone. We need to look harder. I've already looked everywhere. Did you look in the car? In the car? No, not there. I'll go and look. I found them. Oh, good. I'm happy. You should have looked there sooner. Sorry to make you have worried. <laughs> oh, Sue. Oh, Sue. Oh, Sue. Oh, Sue. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Yes. She was ashamed. She, well, embarrassed, maybe. Samuel, maybe it's better to say embarrassed, right? She's like, her face turned red. I'm so embarrassed. I didn't look in the car. The obvious place, right? The obvious place was in the car, but she didn't think about it, so she's embarrassed. Okay, reading is done. Okay, let's shadow, yeah? Shadow. So now it's time to practice saying the sent or saying the conversation. Here we go. Speaking practice. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. They must be here though. They must be here though. They must be here though. I'm certain that the keys are gone. I'm certain that the keys are gone. I'm certain that the keys are gone. We need to look harder. We need to look harder. We need to look harder. I've already looked everywhere. I've already looked everywhere. I've already looked everywhere. Did you look in the car? Did you look in the car? Did you look in the car? Okay, I'm going to be Joe, Joe, angry Joe. Okay, this is, I'm going to start with angry Joe. Okay, here we go. Here is angry Joe. We need to look harder. We need to look, okay, this is an angry Joe. This is Joe being serious, stern. All right, so Joe is stern. He is being stern. We need to look harder. We need to look harder. We need to look harder. Now this is worried, or this is concerned Sue. Sue is concerned. I've already looked everywhere. I've already looked everywhere. I've already looked everywhere. Did you look in the car? Did you look in the car? Did you look in the car? Now this is embarrassed. In the car? No, not there. In the car? No, not there. In the car? No, not there. I'll go and look. I found them. I'll go and look. I found them. I'll go and look. I found them. Oh, good. I'm happy. Oh, good. I'm happy. Oh, good. I'm happy. You should have looked there sooner. This is angry Joe. You should have looked there sooner. You should have looked there sooner. Now this is embarrassed Sue. Sorry to make you have worried. 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 <laughs> All right, that was a little, that was a different side of Joe and Sue. A different side, a different Joe and Sue. All right, so let's look at it one more time. They must be here though. I'm certain that the keys are gone. We need to look harder. I've already looked everywhere. Did you look in the car? In the car? 
No, not there. I'll go and look. I found them. Oh, good. I'm happy. You should have looked there sooner. Uh, sorry to make you have worried. Sorry to make you have worried. <laughs> Miley, thank you, Miley. <laughs> that was easy. That was, this was easy acting. <laughs> All right. Well, we did it. Yeah, we did Lolly's Revenge. We just did the shadowing. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Two hours, everyone. And we got through a lot. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. But I have not taken the picture yet. So I need to take a picture. I'm going to put the conversation on the board too. Okay. So um, there'll be lots of stuff on the whiteboard for you to check out anytime you want to. There we go. That's Lolly's Revenge today. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. I always do that. That way you can check it out anytime you want to. So I will take a picture of the whiteboard and then upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So you can check it out anytime you want to. Okay, there's the camera and I'm going to take a picture. So now you can't see me, but you can hear me. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture and I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. Yes, time flies. It's been two hours and I always have fun. You guys are the best. Yeah, you, you guys are so kind to me. I really appreciate um, you guys here with me for two hours and your special comment, right? I love seeing your chat. I love seeing your writing and um, you guys make it go quickly for me, for sure, for sure. And um, thank you so much. And um, yep, the green team. So um, thank you, green team. And they support me. They support the channel. And um, please um, become a green person. Become, get your name in green. Support me, support the channel. And um, that would be fantastic. Also, I want to say thank you to Elsa today. So um, to get that app, there's a free version, I think, and it's in the descriptions below. You can hit the link and download the app. And if you do it through my video, through my channel, I get credit. They know it came from me. So please do that if you want to. And um, all the normal stuff. I have books and web pages and all that good stuff. And I will be back on Wednesday, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Japan time. So I hope to see you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Marcos. Yeah, so thank you, Green Team, and thank you, everyone else. I really appreciate your kind support, and um, please come back and see me tomorrow. Yeah, Severa, Severa, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm saying your name wrong. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, Ella, thank you. You guys have been here for two hours with me. And um, Irina, thank you, Irina. Irina, I hope to see you tomorrow as well. And um, okay, yeah, so um, let's say goodbye together, shall we? Let's say goodbye together. So let's count down. Here we go, you and I, let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Okay, thanks so much. I will be back here tomorrow, Wednesday, 10 a.m. Okay, so please join me tomorrow morning. Okay, bye bye.